Hello everyone, welcome back to Topher Pro, where the pro stands for production, not professional. I am your host, Topher, and uh, my bifold laundry door is broken. We are right back in the kitchen. Today we are making homemade quesabiria tacos, which basically boils down to pan-fried cheesy tacos. It's kind of the trending thing right now on social media, and uh, you, you know me, I, I chase trends like a Tuesday afternoon hooker chases the dragon. I think that's all the introduction we need, so follow along at home. I'll give you the step-by-step -step for really good homemade tacos. Vamanos! Start with a thin layer of canola oil in a large stock pot at medium-high heat and place three to four pounds of beef inside until browned on both sides. You want a beef cut with a solid fat quantity, so anything ranging from my chuck roast to a short rib will do just fine. Remove the beef and let sit while we work on the broth. Empty out the canola oil and replace with a few tablespoons of vegetable oil. Lower to medium heat and then toss in a full chopped white onion while reserving a handful on the side for later and stir until the onions start to brown. Add in a tablespoon of tomato paste to enrich the flavor and add some color. Add a spoonful of garlic or more depending on your preference and mix in for a minute. Then pour two quarts of beef broth, store-bought or otherwise, and bring back to a simmer. Cut the stems off of five dried ancho chilies, five chilies negro, and two chilies de arbor, and de-seed as necessary. If you like your Mexican food hotter, keep the seeds as is. Toss all these in and then add one tablespoon of black peppercorns, one tablespoon of coriander, a full cinnamon stick, and a few bay leaves. You can alternatively wrap these ingredients in a cheesecloth for easier removal from the broth later, but you can just as easily sieve the whole affair into a separate pot later on like I do. Salt and pepper the broth to your preference and add back your partially cooked meats. Stir everything together so that your beef is submerged, and top of the lid to let it braise for an hour while stirring occasionally. After the first hour, pull out all of your peppers and throw them into a blender with one or two cups of your broth and blend until you've got a steamy puree. Pour the puree back into the stock pot and let the meat braise for an additional hour and a half. <coughs> white boy alert! White boy alert! You can make the easiest rudimentary queso with a block of Velveeta cheese and a 12 ounce can of no bean chili in a crock pot. Throw in a cup of your broth and some taco seasoning, stir occasionally, and set on high setting for about an hour before your tacos are ready. Remove the meat onto a cutting board and chop it with a knife into smaller bite-sized pieces. After removing your cheesecloth ingredients or straining it out into a separate pot, you should be left with a smooth, delicious broth. Spoon a little bit into a medium heat pan and then dip a corn tortilla into your broth. Throw it onto the pan and then place either mozzarella or sliced Oaxaca cheese on one half. Top the cheese with some of your beef, spoon a little more broth on top, and then flip over after a minute or two or once the tortilla begins to darken and crisp up. Brush more broth on top, I I'm serious, these guys are going to be really juicy, and flip over after another minute. Once it's finished, transfer to a plate and begin on your next tacos. And lastly, for a dip to go along with your queso, fill a bowl with your broth, throw in the reserved chopped onion from before, sprinkle with some cilantro, and optionally add a few dabs of your hot sauce of choice. Plate up a stack of tacos, dress with cilantro and queso, and you have yourself some of the best quesabiria tacos imaginable. Enjoy. All right, our labor of love, homemade tacos. So how does it taste? Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Don Alario está muerto. Sus capos están muertos. Ustedes no tienen a nadie más por quien pelear. Y en sus bolsillos y vayanse en paz. O vengan a pelear conmigo y mueran. So yeah, there you go. Quesabiria tacos. A little time consuming, but it is a beautifully crafted dish that you and the whole family is going to enjoy. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to check out some more of my videos and subscribe to the channel if you like what you saw. And I will see you guys next time. Good night. Mm. Magnifico.